My name is Dr. Mark Demonsky. I am a spinal surgeon here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and I specialize specifically in spinal conditions involving the cervical and lumbar spine. Today, however, we're going to be talking about a very common condition and unfortunately a commonly misdiagnosed and underdiagnosed condition referred to as sacroiliac joint dysfunction. Well, the SI joint is located at the very bottom of the spine and that's where the spine connects with the pelvis. The connection is made between the very bottom bone in the spine called the sacrum connected to the pelvic bone called the ilium. Pain in the SI joint can come from a variety of different reasons. The most common reason would be simply degeneration of the joint. As we all age, the ligaments that stabilize the joint can degenerate and become incompetent. The cartilage can start to wear down and that can cause painful motion. Also, there are traumatic situations that can occur such as a motor vehicle collision that can again injure the ligaments that normally stabilize the joint and that can result in abnormal motion and unfortunately pain. When I see patients come into the office with sacroiliac joint pain, what they will often complain of is pain at the very low aspect of their back, either on the right side or the left side or both sides. Oftentimes that pain will radiate into the groin or down into the buttock or down the thigh or oftentimes all the way down into the foot. Typically that pain would be exacerbated with prolonged sitting, but also at times prolonged standing can become uncomfortable. Their function will be significantly compromised as well. That will result in problems with their sleeping patterns. Prolonged sitting or standing can be very uncomfortable and simple routine activities of daily living can be very compromised as well, simply getting around, walking around the house, getting out of a car. Making the correct diagnosis is very important with sacroiliac joint pain. Sacroiliac joint dysfunction does mimic a lot of other conditions and that does underlie the significant importance of making the correct diagnosis. To make the correct diagnosis, a thorough history needs to be obtained, a thorough physical exam needs to be obtained as well. There are very specific physical exam maneuvers that very much can suggest sacroiliac joint dysfunction. There are a variety of treatments available for sacroiliac joint pain. Typically, we start with the non-operative, the simpler solutions such as physical therapy, various medications, injections, and only after patients have failed all of those conservative non-surgical treatment options is when we discuss surgical solutions for their problem. That oftentimes will involve a discussion about a minimally invasive sacroiliac joint fusion procedure. The fusion system that I use is the iFuse sacroiliac joint fusion system. The reason for that is that the literature highlighting that particular system is very strong. There's very good clinical studies that show the patients do extremely well. Specifically, there's a study that suggests 90% of patients after having undergone the procedure using that specific system have very good outcomes and 90% of patients would choose to do the procedure again if they were given the choice. The surgery itself is a minimally invasive procedure with an incision of about one inch long. It's a 30 minute surgery and patients are discharged home the same day. Very typically after a patient has had a sacroiliac joint fusion procedure using the iFuse fusion system, Patients will very commonly report immediate relief of their previous debilitating long-standing pain. This procedure, it, it's a very gratifying procedure. It's very gratifying as a surgeon to take patients that have been complaining of pain for months and sometimes years, that have tried multiple non-surgical treatments, and now to have a solution available to them where they can have a 30-minute procedure go home the same day and after somewhere around a three month recovery period, they're back to their routine activities of daily living, doing things that they enjoy doing. So for any patients that feel they may be suffering from this condition, I would recommend if they're in the Greensboro area or if they're willing to travel to the Greensboro area, calling my office, I'd be more than happy to evaluate them, offer them a thorough physical exam, any diagnostic studies that might be indicated and offer them the variety of options that might be available to them, potentially including an iFuse, a sacroiliac joint fusion.